Greetings, my unique Aquarians and others. This is Soul. Welcome to my channel. Uh, this is going to be a general uh, reading for my unique Aquarians and others for the week of July 20th to the 26th. Uh, before I begin, uh, I want to uh, say a couple of things. Uh, number one is I do have a website up if there is anyone who's interested in uh, scheduling a reading with me. Um, just click on the website link next to the Google Plus icon. If you have any problems with that, I will leave my email address in the uh, description box underneath the video um, so that you may contact me. I know I've been getting a lot of uh, inquiries about uh, doing readings and, you know, my charges and stuff like that. So I think most of the technical difficulties... Um, are straightened out so if anyone is interested um, uh, click the link or just you know send me an email uh, I will provide that uh, in the description box also I want to um, take this time to thank the wonderful people who came to my defense uh, yesterday um, that involved, you know, me doing a reading for uh, the sign of Libra. Uh, if you don't know, I just want to take a minute to explain to you what had happened. That, you know, um, because of the information that I had passed on, you can check out the video if you want. Uh, it didn't sit well with uh, one particular woman. Um, she, you know, more or less came after me viciously. And because I said that for some of my Librians, uh, they may receive news of someone, you know, close to them or someone that they know of that would, you know, uh, pass away. Now, I know <clears throat> and explaining in the video is something that I don't normally do, but the vibrations were so strong that I was guided to pass on that information. But because these are general readings, and this is a general form, it's a public form, um, I have no way of knowing who the messages are for. But because I am uh, an intuitive and I get messages and stuff like that, uh, I pass on to you because, uh, you know, my, my thing is, what is the point of uh, me doing these readings? Um to help, you know, individuals, you know, guide them and, you know, search for any answers that they're looking for in, you know, any area of their life. I just felt that um, even though I welcomed comments, uh, hers was a little bit overboard. And I think, as I've checked uh, this morning, uh, she did remove her comment um, because I think I actually have, and this is why I'm thanking the, the, the wonderful people who came to my defense, that they were responding to her comment. Um, you know, some of the things that were said, you know, by her were just so freaking outlandish. I just said, wow, people really have some issues. And she, you know, just to throw in some of the stuff that she said, she just said that, you know, any good tarot reader or intuitive would never tell someone that somebody that they know would pass. And my first thought to that comment was, well, then you're not dealing with a good or real tarot reader or intuitive. Yes. There is a way if you pay, this is my thing. If you pay someone to look into your life, you don't want and you're not going to receive everything that you want to hear. Because, see, like I had, had explained, what the fuck is the point? And excuse my language, but what is the point? She then went on to say that nobody in their right mind would want a reading from me because I was, you know, quote unquote, the most inhumane being on the planet. 
Now, she has some serious issues, but I don't want to spend too much time on this video explaining to you what has transpired in the past couple of days. But like I said, I'm all about freedom of expression and freedom of speech. And as a matter of fact, there is a comment that is still underneath that video by someone else who said the same thing, that I was irresponsible and not a good reader for passing on information about someone, you know, close to them that would die or pass away. Now, like I said before, this is a general forum. And, you know, my videos obviously are reaching out to a lot of people. So I didn't read for that particular woman or the, the next person who left their comment. And then, you know, that person went on to say that, you know, if my spirit guides had given me that information, then my spirit guides suck. And I'm like, wow, really? So, you know, to close up and, and before I begin your reading, if anyone comes to my channel and don't like what I say, and it doesn't resonate with you, you have every opportunity to move on to another channel and get the feed that you wish to hear. Because see, if you come to my channel, I'm gonna always keep it real and give it to you straight. So I just wanted to pass that on to you so that you understand that I am not holding any guns to anybody's head to look at my videos and, you know, because they're in a, you know, disagreement and how I perform or do my readings, you're more than welcome to go to another channel, to another tarot reader, intuitive, and, you know, get the things that you want to hear. Because that's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing this on my free time. And obviously, um, in response to her, that nobody in their right mind would want a reading from me. Well, my videos that I've put up since I started this, they speak for themselves. Because she said that I was, you know, fake and not genuine. And I'm like, okay, all right, you know, you're, you're coming from another place here. And I don't have time to feed, feed into that. And out of respect... I left her comment up, but apparently it was on her timeline, so she uh, has since taken it down. Because I had, had explained to her in, in response that, hey, if you don't like what I say, you're more than welcome to move on. But stop writing stuff on my timeline because it doesn't sit well with you. Because, see, I'm going to be who I am. And I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And I don't mean to come off sounding that way. But I just want, you know, people uh, to understand that, you know, this is all about me using my time and my, you know, psychic energies to possibly help those who seek it. So I just wanted to uh, put that out there <clears throat> and just give a big shout out and a big thank you for the, the love and support uh, to my new subscribers and for the ones who came to my defense um, about that situation. Because I'm going to always stay true to myself regardless. Anyway, so let's get started with your reading for July 20th to the 26th. Uh, this is a general reading, again, for my unique Aquarians and others. It may resonate with some of you, but it will not touch base with all of you. Um, <clears throat> we start off with the, <clears throat> excuse me, we start off with the Knight of Cups in the upright position, which is a good card to have. And this is the energy that I feel for my unique Aquarians and others going into the week of July 20th to the 26th. And the Knight of Cups is all about, um, you know, I'm feeling, you know, like, you know, relationships somewhat, but I think that your overall feeling going into the week is you feel good about yourself uh, in all areas of your life. And that's 
really a good card to have and a good sign and good energy. And some of you, I think for, <clears throat> excuse me, that are dealing with uh, a relationship or you're dating, this could be uh, someone of a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces that's involved in your current life or your, you know, someone that you deal with in your immediate environment. So uh, we have the Knight of, Knight of Cups. And it's also, too, I'm, I'm being fed to say that some of you may be um, landing a uh, new job, uh, a job that either you were hoping to get or that you thought of, you know, uh, getting this job and <clears throat> it's going to sit well with you. So it's going to be for, you know, the, the love for that job. For some of you who have been looking for work or, you know, for some of you who are already working, but the job that you're currently in or work was in, wasn't what you wanted. And some of you are going to be moving into a job situation that you simply love and the work that you love to do. In your past position, we have the Seven of Swords. And... It's in the upright, and I'm feeling, bringing in energy from the past that some of you have dealt with. Um, it could be a couple of individuals. It could be just one single individual where that person or persons have lied to you, deceived you, betrayed you, and it brought on a lot of mental activity for you uh, that didn't sit well. And like I say, uh, you know, with the fox in the background, you know, this person or persons, they're sneaky, they're cunning, and they're just plain downright deceptive. So this could, you know, involve uh, any area of your life. It could include a relationship that a person has done this to you, or it could be, you know, someone in your family and possibly someone that you work with. Someone has deceived you, betrayed you and lied to you and it brought on a mental a lot of mental um activity for you next up is the strength card in reverse is a major arcana and some of you uh it's in your present position and some of you are sort of like lock, uh, lacking uh some sort of strength during this week uh it doesn't necessarily have to be it could just be physical strength um, but I'm also feeling that some of you are dealing with, um, you know, relationship issues that has totally freaking drained you. And you're at that point right now where you just, you just don't have the strength or the muster to either give it more energy or to, you know, carry on with it. And I'm not mentioning a breakup or anything like that. This is just what I'm feeling for some of you who going into the week of July 20th to the 26th may be feeling some sort of energy uh, depletion and you don't have the strength to endure with any um, possible personal problems or other people's problems. Future card position, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright. And this is actually a you know a good card to have and it's you know uh of you know a card of receiving some good news doesn't necessarily have to be good news but it is some uh some news coming your way um it could be something as simple as you know receiving a text message um uh, you know from a family member or friend that you've been waiting to hear from and it also um could be that you you know, are waiting for some sort of um, package or delivery to come. It is coming and it's on its way. So this is all about, um, it's coming in fast too. So um, like I said before, it could be a phone call, email, text message, arrival of a uh, package that you've been waiting for. And also to let me um, go back here to the strength card that if this is a situation for some of you who are dealing with a relationship, it can also be with a uh, fire sign. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, 
or Aries. And I'm also feeling too that the, the if there is a situation that someone has lied to you, betrayed you, or deceived you in any kind of way, that person or persons there um, could be uh, an air sign like yourself, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So keep that in mind as the week progresses. But this is past energy that I'm picking up that some of you have dealt with a situation like that. And it's, it's still lingering on. And this is probably why the strength card came up next to this card in reverse because of something that happened in your recent past. The color that I have chosen, excuse me, chosen for you is ruby. And on this card, it says rejuvenate your body. And so basically, uh, it's all about, ironically, the ruby I'm attaching this to the strength card is about um, strength and, you know, basically increasing your stamina and your energy. So I did mention that some of you may feel like your energy is depleted during this week um, for whatever situation that you're dealing with. And the ruby is basically here to confirm, you know, for some of you that this is what you'll be dealing with. But it's also about rejuvenating and, uh, you know, bringing back your stamina and just basically, you know, um, being more enthusiastic about your life. It's also a um, uh, it's also a color, you know, a prosperity, uh, courage. Hence the lion here. The lion is about courage, um, you know, achievement and, and motivation. So that's the uh, color that I have for you this week is to concentrate on rejuvenating your body and, you know, uh, bringing back your stamina and, you know, all areas of your life. More enthusiasm that I see for some of you. The spirit message card that I have chosen is uh, stay connected. And on this card, we are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. So this message, spirit message card, is just saying for some of you who feel like a disconnect uh, spiritually, it's just asking you to reconnect somehow uh, with your spiritual self. Uh, it could be anything from, you know, um, you know, like meditating or just, you know, picking up some sort of uh, spiritual uh, literature. Um, it's just asking you to, reconnect to your spirit side because we are all spirits living the human experience on this on this planet and during our time here so if some of you who felt spiritually disconnected this card is asking you to, to reconnect and stay connected to your spiritual side and for um some and i wanted to add this to the message that i gave prior to the reading was that you know we all have the answers that we seek. They come from within. No other person can give you the answers that you seek. And I think that for a, you know, a lot of you, go outside of yourself to get the validation that you need because the answers you already know. But you need that validation of sorts from someone else to give you what you already knew. So, and I'm not taking away from, you know, people who go to tower readers or intuitives or anything like that. But I think that from, you know, my perspective, the answers that we seek, we already know. We just need that validation from someone else uh, just to make sure that we are sure that we knew what we were feeling, you know, prior to uh, seeking out assistance from, you know, someone else. The answers cannot be given to you externally. They have to come from within. 
And what I'm doing is just giving you potential energy of, you know, things to come for you, you know, or come up for you. Well, you already have the answers to whatever situation or problems that you're dealing with in your life. With that said, that's going to be it for uh, my unique Aquarians and others for the week of July 20th to the 26th. Again, I want to thank my new subscribers and give a shout out to all those wonderful people who came to my defense uh, yesterday. And also until next week, I wish everyone a blessed week and a safe one. Um, love and light. Bye.